Managing tills. In this video, I'm going to take you through how we can create our cash registers and actually manage those registers, those tills, within our um, system with our users. So we can actually assign different tills to different users. So let's get started. We need to go to our Manage Tills module by clicking here. And you'll see that here we already have one till already created, which is our 00, zero safe deposit. So basically our back of house till. Now let's create another one. Up on our toolbar, click on new. And we need to number this till. So we've already got 00, zero so the next one we'll do is 01. And we're going to call it cash register um, front. So it's the, the register we have at the front. Now we have some selections down below. We definitely need to check off the automatically create all cash accounts for this till and then click on save. What this does is it associates currencies for this cash register. So what we need to do before anything else is actually create these cash accounts that we have wanted to automatically associate with this register. So clicking below actually does that right there. How can we see that? Let's go into our subledger account and we can have a look at that. So clicking on our subledger module, across the top we want to click on the cash so we can view all of our cash accounts. And you'll see that the cash currencies for the cash has actually created one with zero one next to it for every currency that we have. So that's what clicking that button did was actually create those cash accounts to associate with this till zero one. So let's go back into those tills. So now we have our tills. We need to assign our users to these tills in order to do transactions so that they can be associated to those cash registers. Let's just see what happens if we don't assign to a till. Going to our invoice module and up on the toolbar we're going to click new for a new invoice. And let's just do a quick invoice transaction of just 200 euros and click on add row you'll see an error comes up. Cash account is not valid, must be a currency euro. Now what this means is we haven't actually signed in to a till so we aren't actually associating this transaction with any cash accounts which is what this error is coming up. So when you see this error you need to first go back in and check that your user or you are actually signed in to a till. So let's take you through how to sign in to a till. Going back to our manage tills module Let's sign in to our safe deposit. We need to just double click and simply click on sign in. You'll see that the user will appear right here, so the administrator is me, and then we just click on close. You'll now see that the administrator is filled in in this line saying signed in user. So now when we go to do an invoice, let's go back into our invoice module, click on new, and do a quick transaction, click on add a row, you'll now see that the transaction is actually going through because we are actually signed in as a till and it's associated it with the cash euros. Let's sign into the other till and see what happens as well. So let's sign in as a different user. So I'm going to go and change what user. So by clicking over here on the administrator name right here, we can now sign in as somebody else. I'm going to sign in as Ryan just for this example. And we're going to sign Ryan into cash number one. So again, we just need to double click and simply click on sign in. You'll see Ryan's name comes up as signed in and close and again Ryan is um, listed as signed into this user. So now Ryan can do some invoices up on new and again just a quick example invoice click on add row you'll see that the account associated with Ryan is the cash euro zero one because he is signed into the zero one um, cash register. Let's cancel out. So we can create as many cash registers as we need to for our business. So if we have five, we can create five. Say we only actually have one, but we have many users. So we want to be able to allow more than one person to sign into this cash register. So how do we do that? 
we can, first of all, we need to sign Ryan out. So double click and sign Ryan out of this till. Now we need to edit this cash register. So going back up to the toolbar, click on edit and click on share this till among all users. Now save and you'll no longer see just one name under here, you'll just see sit shared by all users. Now when Ryan is signed in, he no longer has to assign himself to a cash register because he will automatically be assigned to this cash register. Let's see if we can do an invoice just to show. Quick example again, add row and he is assigned to the 01 um, account. Now say your administrator is the only one that wants to be assigned to the safe deposit box in the back. You don't want any of your um, employees being able to log into this till. We can actually edit this one as well and reserve it just for the administrator. So now none of your other users will be able to log in accidentally or even on purpose to the 00 till. They will only be associated with the 01 till. And that is how you create your cash registers and how you manage those tills by assigning your employees, your staff to these cash registers so that they can do transactions associated with those cash registers.